It's just an update to that spreadsheet that uh, I did a couple of weeks ago. To um, set out the, the chain, there were, there were errors in the Osmos list of CCs and program changes. So I, I fixed those errors and made a spreadsheet about them. Look back one in my YouTube uh, list for, for that. I'm not going to go through that again. I just came up with uh, a puzzler with Ableton Live and realize that when Ableton Live numbers all these things, they number them from 1 to 128 instead of 0 to 127. And so when you put them in uh, clips like this, you know, suppose you want to fire a given bank sub program, this is, this is the same as a guitar, which is sending CC1, CC01, CC320, and program 0. So these numbers add 1 to those three numbers. And then it sends these values to Osmos. How about that? So I built a new copy of the spreadsheet and just added one to every number in every column so that when you are trying to set up a clip you don't have to sit here and mentally keep that all I, I don't know about you I can't keep that straight that's ridiculous so here's uh, the Hocken editor sitting there at Zen Perks so here's a clip that's got a guitar this one we've been talking about if I fire it it works. If I fire uh, a couple up Archer, it works. If I go into another bank and hit Walking Blues, it works. Here's, here's a puzzler. This doesn't have anything to do with anything. But if I hit this, it goes to the right patch. But the intonation of the patch when you launch it from Ableton is different than the intonation of the patch if you launch it with straight raw commands like these. I got no reason for that. And then here's the last one in the list, send perks, and it, you know. So there you go. That's if, if you've run in Ableton and you're tearing your hair out the way I was trying to set up clips so that you could fire these things, that's the reason why. See you later.